Should you cycle in Mallorca in the peak season, the hottest time of the year, July and August? That is the question that I was asking myself. And well, I decided yes, and I went there to find out what it would be like. Okay, so I didn't purposefully go to Mallorca just to see what it was like to cycle there. In July, I was actually going there on the annual summer holidays. But whilst I was there, I thought, man, I really got to do some cycling here. We all know it's one of the best places in Europe to cycle, but the peak season for cycling in Mallorca is usually more towards the end of the year, kind of October time, or during the start of the year where it's cooler in temperature. In July and August, it's regularly above 30 degrees. The sun is beaming down all day long and it's absolutely roasting. Is that the best conditions for cycling? Well, some may think so, some may think not. So I was in Mallorca for a week and I couldn't get it out of my mind that I wanted to cycle the Cap de Fermenta route. It's quite a famous route in Mallorca. It starts in Palenza. It goes through a couple of climbs, through a tunnel in the edge of the mountains, and it takes you to this lighthouse at the northernmost point of the island. And it looked beautiful. So I started to do a bit of research about this particular ride and whether it would be a good idea to do it when it's hot. And I ended up on the usual places online, you know, Reddit, etc. And the general consensus was like, oh, you know, it's gonna be very hot. Oh, you probably shouldn't be doing this. It's too dangerous. Oh, you know, rah, rah. And so essentially, you know, the general consensus online was a bit of this, a bit of that. And to be honest, I disagreed with what I was reading online. And I thought, come on, like, it can't be that bad. I'm, I'm going to go and, and check it out for myself. And, and that's the main reason that I'm actually making this video today is to kind of dispel those opinions that I read online about cycling in Mallorca in the peak season in July and August. Now, don't get me wrong, you gotta be careful out there. It's hot, it's really hot. Um, it was, you know, 35 degrees one of the days I was there. Um, so, sure, you do have to look after yourself. You've gotta stay hydrated, you've gotta stay well fueled. And I think sort of the biggest piece of, of advice I got out of uh, my initial research is to set off early. So yeah, I decided to go and check it out. Um, I wasn't on a cycling holiday, I was just on a normal holiday. And I did bring my bib shorts and a top with me, but that was it. I only brought them on the off chance that I decide to go cycling. And once I made that decision, once we were in Palenza, I thought, right, yep, I'm gonna do the ride. I was like, okay, uh, well, I need a bike now. And there's a lot of bike rental places on the island of Mallorca, and there's a lot in Palenza. And I didn't do that much research in particular. Uh, I noticed that there was a particular bike rental shop literally around the corner from the hotel that I was staying in. They were called Bike Island Mallorca. Got myself a nice couple of bottles from them uh, and they were brilliant. I basically turned up the day before with no appointment and I was greeted by a very friendly member of staff and she helped me out like, yeah, it's no problem. I can sort you out. What type of bike do you want? How tall are you? What are your measurements? Uh, do you need shoes? I was like, yes, I need shoes. Do you need a helmet? Yes, I need a helmet. But I was like, I need everything, sort me out. Uh, and she did. And I reserved a bike, a giant Defy Di2. And I picked it up later that evening. They actually let me pick it up a little bit outside of their normal kind of reservation period just to accommodate for the short rental time, which is great of them. Uh, I picked it up, locked it up in my hotel and off I went, 6.30 in the morning to do the ride. I think that's one of the key points to keep in mind when you're cycling in Mallorca in the summer months is that if you set off earlier in the morning at around sunrise, you can actually have quite nice temperatures. Um, the route from Palenza to Cap de Fermenta is actually shaded for kind of like the first half of it, uh, especially if you set off early in the morning. So I set off at, like I said, 6.30 around sunrise. Uh, there's an initial climb which is uh, on the other side of a hill from the sun, so you're shaded uh, from the sun coming up. And then for a significant portion after that, you actually go through a forest. So again, you're shaded from the sun whilst you go through this forest. Um, as the time went on 
during the ride as it got a little bit later in the morning the sun was starting to come up and I arrived at Cap de Fermenta about an hour hour and a half later as you can see in the video here and yeah it's pretty sunny but it wasn't too hot you know it wasn't too hot at this time the ride was absolutely incredible definitely hands down one of the best rides I've ever done um, the scenery is just astonishing you'll see it in the clips I'm playing in the meantime setting off this early in the morning also meant that the roads were really quiet it was predominantly other cyclists a few construction workers as they are renovating a hotel on that road at the moment uh, and a couple of other people who were driving to Cap de Fermento early to see it a bit earlier in the day but the roads were super quiet and really really nice to ride on the bike was great it served me well uh, i don't usually ride electronic group sets or hydraulic disc brakes so it was really nice to give that a go a bit of a luxury for me on this particular ride the disc brakes were great during the descents i felt super confident in them and the electronic shifting was it was nice it didn't blow me away as much as i thought it would being someone who has never used it before but uh, it did shift flawlessly and i can't really complain about that the giant defy was a great bike uh, i won't go into it too much this isn't a bike review video but it certainly did the job it had adequate gearing for getting up those climbs it was about a thousand meters of elevation that i did uh it was fast it was fun uh, really enjoyed it. It did have a little bit of a uh, squeaky saddle post, uh, which was a little bit annoying. You might hear it in the videos, but um, it didn't bother me too much. So yeah, should you go cycling in Mallorca in July, August, when it's hot? Well, I don't think it's as big a deal as other people do. Yes, it's going to be hot. I think the main thing to keep in mind is to set off early, do your cycling early in the day or potentially later in the evening, although it doesn't cool down that much in the morning, it is significantly cooler. Yeah, you might not be able to ride all day, every day, you know, for a week, it might get a bit too hot for you. But again, that depends on where you're from and where you live the rest of the time throughout the year. But I absolutely enjoyed it i loved the ride to cap the fermenter i'm super happy that i did it even in the midst of the july heat uh, and i would definitely do it again if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to cremamba for some more cycling related content and drop me a comment below if you've got any feedback on the video or if you've also been to mallorca in the summer periods let me know what you think thanks a lot see you later me at the end of it 40k, I don't know, 1,000 metres of climbing, incredible ride, absolutely incredible.